Aratelu Tup Tisahi. So this week I'm going to show you how you can recolor your tracks in a cool way. So Marco Suomala, if you remember my Mixing Mental Core tutorial, which is one of my most watched tutorials to date, he was the guitarist on that. He asked, how can I recolor my tracks so that they do this color order? If we first go to Preferences, here we have the uh, Auto Track Color Mode. So basically, you want to use previous track plus one. And if we now add, so now we get this pattern. And basically what he is asking is that he received a session that has the default coloring and you cannot do the auto coloring on these. So he asks, how can I do this? And I'm going to show you. So this is a macro I made a bit earlier. So I think it works on Cubase 5 and forward. So first thing that we need to do is that we go to edit and project logical editor and you get this sorry window. You want to select the function transform and first we will add here the media type equals to let's add the container type is a track and that the and that the media type is audio and that the track is selected is set to selected and this is important I'll give you an example so if we have 12 tracks and we have them colored like this and you get this mode if I didn't mention you get it in the preferences if you go to the editing project and mixer and the auto track color I use the default event color which is the gray one because I always want to manually select what the colors are. Anyway, now we have set it so that when an audio track, so if we make a MIDI track here, it will not affect that. So I'm going to show you why this is important. So we want to select that set color. And the problem here is that you cannot choose like an ascending color. So let's do a color five. And you can get the names because you can change these in the select colors. You can change these so you have to manually type in those. So if you are using, this, for example, the German version or, or previously named colors like record or drums or bass or whatever. Anyway, so you select those, then we click apply. We see that it does not affect the MIDI track. But the select here is crucial. So the property equals selected and then we click apply now we will not color the others and what we will do is that we will do this in a bit of a boring way so we click on the store preset and then we name it color one then we change this color two and we do this for many of these presets Let's do eight. Eight is nice. You can do all 16, but that's just not very necessary. So what we do now is we go to the file key commands and then we do show macros and then we make a new macro. Then we call it rainbow colorize and then we find our process project logical editor here we find the color one then we click add one add all right so now we see that we have the process project logical editor color one and so on but if we now do it uh, let me show you what happens i'm going to assign a key command so here we have the macro folder and we call it rainbow colorize and we assign it all right so now if we do it, use the key command, the shift C, it only affects this. So what we need to do is that we go to key commands and then we go again to the macro and the rainbow colorize. And after we have done each of these, we add a new navigate down. 
and then we click add to macro so all right now we have the next so now when we press the shift c it skips the midi track and it colors all the audio tracks and you can do your preset however you want but this is the process What I personally would do is that we go to Project Logical Editor and we select here the default color and remove this. Now if we apply, it adds a color default. And this is actually what I would do personally as a key command. So process logical, so color default Let's see a key command that we have not used. Is this free? All right. Command Shift C is free. So if we first colorize these and then we press the yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. And thank you for watching and make good music.